Yeah, I think our team does a really great job of just taking things one point at a time, one game at a time, and I think for tomorrow's match, we're really excited for the opportunity to go and compete there, and we haven't seen them yet, obviously, in the Big Ten season, so um, yeah, we're super excited. Do you think or bring up any past matches with them with this current team or not really? Um, I, for motivation or for yeah, I think I guess motivation might be the only way that it would be helpful to bring up past matches with them because at this point we can't change anything that's happened in the past. We can only use what we learned and bring that into the future. Um, I think the only thing that also could be useful is just remembering like tendencies or things that they did in past matches and being able to use that in our strategy for this match. What impressed you most about Becca Allen? Um, just her commitment to being great. Every single day, she's the first person in the gym. She's doing her meditations. She's on her pre-practice exercises. Um, she's just really committed to helping this team be successful and to her own um, growth and success. And it's really awesome to see in such a young player. And so I'm really impressed with her and how she's done this year so far. How do you say you're looking at Wisconsin and maybe studying some of the teams? They've changed a lot since last mm -hmm. year, though. What have you seen out of them in terms of their transformation around running a 6 2 now? Yeah, it is kind of an interesting thing that they're running the 6-2, and so are we, and they hadn't done that for a really long time, and neither have we. Um, I think they have a couple transfers that are interesting, but people that have kind of been from and around the Big Ten, so we've seen those faces before. And we know Devin Robinson on the right side is going to be threatening. They give her the ball a lot, so that'll be something that will challenge us. And I think if we just continue to be really aggressive on our serving and get them off the net and keep them out of system, then we will have a lot easier job defending their offensive players. How do you feel like you stack up against them? Um, I'd like to think pretty good. Um, I'm really excited for the match, and I think all the, the all the girls on our team are just excited for the opportunity, and um, I think we could out-team them, which is cool. Maddie, Wisconsin and Maryland have best block in Division One volleyball. Mm -hmm. How important is it going to be for you guys to, you know, be able to block them and go up against that, but also to allow that block this week? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, in practice, coach says that if we can um, play against our boys who are big guys and big blocks, if we can tool them and beat them in blocking, then we can tool anyone in the country. So I think. This week we've put a really big emphasis on that and just the, these two days of practice of being able to tool them and uh, be offensive against those big blocks. And so f hopefully that will transfer into our match on Wednesday. Do we work against Wisconsin? No, Danny Redke, no, Pildy on the cross. Other side of the net, is it different across Yeah, I guess it's a little bit different because you think of those players being in college volleyball for so long and even like with us having like Lauren and Lexi and like those players that played, played against each other for so many years. Um, but I also think it's kind of cool because the game continues to grow and there are younger players that are coming up and doing really awesome things. So that's kind of exciting to see. We've talked a lot about how you guys like to play in hostile environments. You play in the hallway. You play mm -hmm. I don't like their gym very much. It's kind of like a dungeon a little bit because the fans like sit up, but it's like in the dark. So it, I don't know, the gym's not great, but, and it's a really cold too with the wood and everything. But, you know, I think we've done a really good job of being on the road for a really long time and just coming in and being really intentional and efficient with our practices. And I think that's what you have to do in those situations because it would be really easy to come into practice and kind of slack off and be like, we're on the road again. I don't know what we're going to do. But um, yeah, so I've been really impressed with our team and our commitment to that. How do you through the Big Ten now? How would you assess where you guys are from the firm? What are you doing really well? And where do you want to see you guys improve over the second half? I think what we do really well is when we decide to take over a match, we do. I think in past years we've kind of like struggled in the first set and then we've like even beat teams two sets and then the third we kind of like mess around and we play games close which i think this team kind of like i said we do a really great job of just committing to being in this set and this play and deciding okay we're done with this game and we want to be done and 
ending the game, um, which is cool. And I think because we have so many players that can kind of take over a match like that, we have like with Whitney and Becca and all of our, our um, attackers, it's really cool that we have the capability to do that. And then kind of on the other side of that, I think we just have to continue to just be offensive in transition because our defense is so strong and we can really just suffocate teams with our block and D, but we need to continue to score in transition and that's what's going to make the difference of winning or losing matches. Hey, Maddie, does being number one mean anything to you guys? Mm, it's cool. Um, we, one of our goals this year is just to be in the top four seed before um, they do the selections for the NCAA tournament because last year being selected 10th, we saw what it was like to be on the road the entire NCAA tournament before Final Four, which was really challenging for us. And we recognized that so many people were sick and it was really hard to be on the road that long and competing at that high of a level. So um, it's important for us to continue to try and stay in the top four, but um, yeah, it is what it is. How fun is a match like this? I mean, you'd probably much rather, I'm guessing, would you much rather play top five team on the road? Yeah, I mean, this is, this is why we play volleyball. These are the matches that win or lose. These, this is the reason that we play the sport, to play with each other and to compete at this high of a level and in these close, mass, in these close matches with this high of pressure. So, yeah, it's great. Friday, Nick, when you get that for a record last week, <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of interesting because like stuff like that will happen and we had no idea it was coming. Like we had no idea she was close and then it's like, oh yeah, Nicklin beat, like, beat the record. We're like, oh cool, all right. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just kind of a commitment to her and her just the way that she has been setting the, the entire time that I've been here with her and hitting off of her and she's so consistent and um, we're just really impressed with her and really great. It's really great to have her as a team, teammate. More questions for Maddie? All right, thank you. Coach Cook will be here shortly.